I'm here with Andy Myers from the University of New Hampshire's Large Pelagic Research Centre and he's going to be telling us about the tag that he's going to be attaching to a leatherback turtle, how it works and more importantly what it's going to be able to tell us about the species. So Andy if I can just move around here to the actual demonstrative model we have here, obviously a leatherback's not this size in reality but how does it actually fit onto the uh, leatherback turtle and how does it work? Okay, you can see that uh, we have this tag custom made for us. It has this V-shape here. That's because leatherbacks have seven ridges that run along the carapace. The carapace is considerably larger than this one here. Leatherbacks are around about six to seven feet long and, and weigh about a thousand pounds. So this sits atop the ridge, uh, and then once we've attached the device, we release the animal. Now, leatherbacks are reptiles, so of course they need to breathe air. They spend the vast majority of their time underwater, but when they return to the surface to breathe, that's when we need this device to start working. If it was to transmit continually, the batteries would run low very quickly. Now to achieve this, we have these three metal discs on the tag here. Now once two of those discs are dry, the device switches itself on and begins transmitting. As well as location data, we also get dive data from these devices. So we're able to tell how long the animal is spending at certain depths and the temperature that these animals are experiencing, which is likely to fluctuate during the, the year as the animal spends the, the summer months foraging in cooler waters and then returning to the tropical waters to breed during the winter months.